What's up guys and welcome back to another video and to the final ever Deadman Mode tournament. Like all the others, our goal is to get PKing as fast as possible with the best stats. So that means on day one we rush DT, we chin our range up and we get our magic up to at least 82. And then by day two, day three, we can be PKing properly. So the first thing we wanted to do is go get our 10k as usual and go from there. Alright, and this is our 5k, just one more to go and hopefully we don't die to a big spider. 10k, there we go, let's home tally. Alright, now we've got an extra 20k, let's make our way to Varrock. Okay, this should be easy magic training, and we're just going to stay here until we're 45 mage. Or 50. Alright, and that's 45 magic, I'm going to make my way to Varrock now, see if I can get a law rune, and if not, we'll find another way to get to, uh, Rock Crabs. Alright, it's time to start trading range, we're going to be here for a while. Hopefully, once we get to use our Dorgish and Crossbow, we can, like, start crashing people for a better spot. Alright, 28 range now, so we can actually start using our Dorgish and Crossbow. I'm just going to go on a long range, so I can get the studded body on. Alright, and that's 50 range, let's keep going. Alright, 57 range, I'm just gonna put on long range now to start training 40 defense, and we should be around like 60 range at the same time. Alright, 40 defense for 58 range now, we're just gonna focus on getting 60 range. Alright, we just got 60 range, we're gonna teleport to Lumbridge right now and collect some stuff to start questing with. The first quest we're gonna do in the DT line is Taurus Trap, and for that I need myself 20 smithing and 10 fletching, so I've just collected 26 logs and 81 bronze bars on an alt to help me out, and I'm gonna go over to Varrock and get this done. Alright, that's 20 smithing, let's do fletching now. Alright, that's 10 fletching, let's get going. Alright, I finally got in. There was another team doing Taurus Trap and they just kept taking the key, so it was very irritating. Luckily, we have now got our key and we can start this quest. We've only wasted 20 minutes. Okay, got a little squad holding down the Taurus Trap right now, as you can see. Alright, that's Taurus Trap done in two and a half hours since release. I would have it done after two hours, but uh, there was a lot of, what's it called? A lot of people doing the quest at the exact same time, so I couldn't just do it. And we're going to use our XP lamps on agility or whatever, which should help us quite a bit. Alright, it's time to start dig site. We've managed to buy ourselves some stamina, which should make this a lot easier. Alright, that's 25 thieving. We can go start the dig site now. Alright, that's dig site done. Nice. Alright, we're just starting to train prayer right now, so let's just spam click real quick. What level does uh, 9 of these get us to? We could get killed so easily right now. 35 prayer, nice. Okay, and this should be our prayer done. I think maybe we're going to go do troll stronghold now. Would be a good idea. This is 45 prayer. Nice. Alright, that's 53 thieving. Took forever, but we got it done. Alright, now it's time to do Troll Stronghold. Alright, and that Dad clearly did not want it in the streets, so let's carry on. Alright, and that's a Troll General down as well. Thank you for your prison key, sir. Alright, that is Troll Stronghold done. Very nice and easy. Now uh, we gotta do two more quests. Alright, now it's time to start Waterfall Quest. Alright, and that is Waterfall done. I need to go do Temple of Ikov, but right now it's being capped. So I might go get maybe 50 fire making for DT right now. Alright, Temple of Ico is being camped right now, so I'm just getting the other requirements for TT, so I just got 10 Slayer and I'll do Fire Making. Alright, that's 50 Fire Making, 10 Slayer as well. What else do I need? I think it's just Temple of Ico now. Oh, I need to get one more magic level. I'm not gonna lie, I just wasted three teleports so I could get 50 minutes to start DT. Alright, we're currently 5 hours 40 minutes into the tournament. I've got every single DT pre-quest and skill requirement done apart from Temple of Ico because it's being camped right now. I'm 61 range. 50 magic, 4 defense. Right now, I'm just going to go start training my attack and strength. Hopefully get to double 65s. Maybe get a little bit of defense as well. And then hopefully by then, Tide of Ico should be cleared out. Or before then. And then I can get DT done. Start chinning, start bursting, and get these stats really quickly. But right now, we're just going to go get our melees up. I've been AFKing too long. I just got 41 attacks. So we can use our rune skimmer now and go for 40 strength. 40 strength. So now I think we're just going to switch on to attack until we get 60 and then use our D skim from there. So as you can see on the mini map, we finally cleared those people outside of Temple of Icov. They still have a lot of raggers at all the positions, but I'm just like, you guys go fight it out. I'm going to go collect my arrows. All right, and that is Temple of Icov completed. All right, we're about eight hours into the tournament now. I can finally go start DT. All the uh, spots that have been getting camped have been unlocked, and luckily I've managed to sneak through and managed to do the quests. And I have all the requirements now, so I'm just going to go start DT. Could have had it done by now, probably, but it's fine. I didn't really lose any time because I was training other stats that I'd have to train anyway. All right, that is DT started. All right, it's time for Desus. We're doing it in a bone crossbow with no range pots with uh, blue dehyde. Hopefully this goes well. Can't really tell. 62 range, not bad. Okay, this should be him dead here in a second. I'm not even eating, man. I better kill him. Come on, die. Hello. Hit. All right, there we go. Let's go get our blood diamond now. Ah, uh, we didn't get the diamond off him, we need to go back and get it. Alright, got my first blood diamond. Nice. Alright, it's camel time. This should be Camille down. I thought I ran out of runes, but I just had to restore up. I had a slight little panic attack there. Uh, 56 mage, he's still not dead for some reason. Can we hit him with a good fight? Good fight, dude. 
And uh, we can just need to keep carrying on now, and we should be able to go get our ice diamond. All right, and now we have the ice diamond. No one here is waiting to spec us out. Very nice. Let's not get specced out by the stranger. Next up, I think, is the smoke one. All right, and that is Farid killed, and that is the diamond smoke diamond done. Um, the last diamond, I forget which one it is the shadow diamond. Maybe I can't do right now because there are no lock picks in the game, apart from the people who are currently collecting them from that guy at Birthrop. So I'm just gonna have to wait it out and do something else until then. But we got three out of the four diamonds. We'd have the fourth diamond like within 30 minutes probably, but we can't because it's being the lock picks aren't being like sold yet. So we're just gonna have to wait, do something else. We're about, um, let's say, like 10 hours in maybe, almost, and we're just going to keep going. All right, seeing as we can't get the fourth diamond right now, we're just going to get back to the melees and work on 65-65. After that, I'm probably going to go chin this range up. All right, that's 60 attack. Let's switch over to this D-skim, start getting the strength up a lot quick. All right, 60 strength. Now we're just going to get double 65s. All right, just got 65 strength, so let's chuck it on attack. 65 attack. I think I'm going to go chin now. So I started chinning right from 60 range in blue D high once again, and I managed to get myself a tier 5 emblem as I hit 70 range. Alright, that's 500 chins thrown, we're just about 78 range, honestly I'll just get it right now on this last skeleton, and hopefully get a tier 5 out of it. And then, um, we're probably gonna go chin some more, but 78 range, we're about 12 hours, 12 and a half hours in, that's really great. Alright, that's that's our chins for now. We threw about 800 from level 60 to 82 range. Very high range level. We're about 13 hours into the tournament now. Um, we probably will do some more chinning, but just not today, at least until 90 range. It's time to get our other stats done and get DT done as well. Alright, well, DT's still being locked down, and anyway, after I do DT, I need 70 mage to start bursting. So I just caught some alks, and I'm going to start alking my way to 70 mage, and also firebolt once I'm at rock crabs for some extra XP so I can like fireball and alk at the same time. All right, that's 70 mage, which means you can burst. We just need to get DT done now. All right, update. It's about 14 hours into the tournament. I've got 82 range, 70 magic, double 65s. I'm just gonna go to the Warriors Guild right now and start working on my defender. Um, no one has DT done yet because the guys who are camping it haven't even decided like to finish it. So no one's peeking with Ancients right now. So we're fine and I'm just gonna work on my defender. All right, that's 60 defense, so once I actually get myself a dragon defender, I can use it. And that's 70 attack. We're still on a bronze defender somehow, which is just great. Uh, we'll start training strength for a little bit now. Finally, I got my iron defender, man. I've just got 320 tokens left from 540. So at the part of DT where you have to use the lock picks, I always get the worst luck, and the people I'm doing the quest with always seem to get the best luck. If you've watched any of my previous tourney videos where I've been doing it with someone else, they almost seem to get it always right away, and it takes me forever. This time was no different. I was given 60 lockpicks to start with. I used all of them and I got nothing. So I started pickpocketing the bandits to get more and still I got nothing. So I used over 100 lockpicks before being given another 15 and then this happened. Finally, finally I got it. Thank God, dude. Holy fucking shit. All right, it's time for the final boss, Dam Damis. I can't be bothered to save spot it or anything. I'm literally just going to camp uh, all these prayer pots and just let him destroy me pretty much because I cannot be bothered. Only took a couple prayer pots. I nearly, well, I did actually get smited there. Almost died, but you know, life's good. We're fine. And we got our final diamond so we can make our way to the pyramid now. Thank God. All right, let's put these diamonds inside the pyramid. I don't even, like, I don't even look at the colors, man. I just click until I get the right one. All right, and this is Desert Treasure done finally. We could have had it hours ago, but I'm not worried because our stats did not suffer at all because of it. We got everything else that we needed to do done as well. And now we have 70 mage and Desert Treasure done, so we can go get our mage cape and then go start bursting to get our magic up. There's D uh, DT done. All right, let's get our mage cape done. Cape done. Nice. Gonna get the Zami cape, of course. And uh, this staff is a free 48k alp, which will help me in training my mage. All right, got my ancient stuff. All right, first set of bursts done, and they got us to 77 mage from 70. Very nice. 80 mage. Yep, that's another tier five. Sick. That means we can keep going as well. 81 magic. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get 82 with what we have left. All right, that's 82 magic. I'm just going to use the rest of these costs anyway, because I do need to get 94 eventually, and I already bought them. All right, we're about 18 hours into the tournament now, six hours until the end of day one. Here are the stats. 70 attack, 66 strength, 60 defense, 82 range, 45 prayer, and 82 magic. We could be Blitz and Javelin PKing right now, but obviously I just want to get a little bit more prepared. I want to get myself to stats 
where I can use a Stadius Warhammer, I can use a VLS. I also want to make sure I'm Barrage PKing and everything like that. So hopefully I'll be able to have all that in day two. I should, if everything goes well, have 94 Mage in tomorrow's video, as well as close to 90 range, if not 90 range, as well as much higher melee stats. And I should be PKing quite a bit and maybe even chucking up a stream. Here is one of my victims who I intend on killing, Mr. Sears over there. He barely escaped me last tournament. Anyway, if you guys have enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new so you don't miss any of the upcoming demo mode content. And I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching.